वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे बी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एम एल अगरवाल क्लास एट ओके सो टू डाइम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट सिक्स ओके सो हियर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सो इन अ बैग देअर आर ट्वेंटी के जी ऑफ फ्रूट्स इफ सेवन होल वन बाई सिक्स के जी ऑफ दिस फ्रूट्स एंड ऑरेंजेस एंड एट होल टू बाई थ्री के जी of these are apples and rest are grapes then find the mass of the grapes in the bag okay so here the first one so here total mass of fruits equal to 20 kg okay then mass of oranges is 7 whole 1 by 6 that means 43 by 6 kg and mass of apples equal to 8 whole 2 by 3 that means 26 by 3 kg then total mass of oranges and apples that equal to this one plus this one so you will get 95 by 6 kg then you have to find out the mass of the grapes so here the mass of the grapes total equal to 20 kg here mass of oranges and apples equal 95 by 6 so 20 minus 95 by 6 that equal to 25 by 6 that means 4 whole 1 by 6 kg is the mass of grapes and that is the final answer sum number 2 the population of a city is 663432 if half of the population are adult males and 1 by 3 of the population are adult females then find the number of children in the city okay so here total population equal to 66342 and as the half of the population are adult males and 1 by 3 part of population that equal to adult females then definitely the children definitely the children will be 1 minus and then part of males and part of females so half plus 1 by 3 that means 1 minus 5 by 6 so that equal to 1 by 6 so 1 by 6 part of the total population that equal to number of children so write down here number of children equal to Six six three four three two. That is the total population into one by six part. So after cancellation with six with this one, you will get one one zero five seven two. So one one zero five seven two is the answer. Sum number three. In an examination, four hundred students appeared. If two by three of the boys and all one thirty girls passed in the examination, then find how many boys. failed in examination okay so that means here total number of students equal to 400 and total number of girls equal to 130 okay so total number of boys equal to 400 minus 130 that equal to 270 now number of boys passed in examination that is 2/3 of the total boys so 270 into 2 by 3 that equal to 180 so 180 is the total number of boys who passed in the examination that means number of failed boys equal to as 270 is the total boys so 270 minus 180 that equal to 90 okay so 90 is the final answer now the next one sum number 4 in sum number 4 a car is moving at the speed of 40 whole 2 by 3 km per hour find how much distance will it cover in 9 by 10 hours okay so here the speed of the car that equal to 40 whole 2 by 3 that means 122 by 3 km per hour so you can write here in 1 hour the car covered 122 by 3 km then in 9 by 10 hours the car covered 122 by 3 into 9 by 10 okay and you will get 183 by 5 that equal to 36 whole 3 by 5 km now sum number 5 find the area of a square lawn whose one side is 5 whole 7 by 9 meter long okay so that means here the side of the square lawn that equal to 5 whole 7 by 9 so 52 by 9 meter okay now the area of the square lawn the formula 
to find out the area of the square that equal to side into side and as here side equal to 52 by 9 so that means 52 by 9 into 52 by 9 meter square is the unit so 52 into 52 2704 9 into 9 81 so it becomes 33 whole 31 by 81 meter square and that is the final answer now the next one sum number 6 in sum number 6 perimeter of a rectangle is 15 whole 3 by 7 meter if the length is 4 whole 2 by 7 meter find its breadth okay so here the perimeter of the rectangle that equal to 153 by 7 that equal to 108 by 7 meter and the given length equal to 4 whole 2 by 7 that means 30 by 7 meter now what is the formula to find out the perimeter of a rectangle and that is 2 into length plus breadth so according to the problem as the perimeter equal to 108 by 7 so we can write at 2 into length plus breadth that equal to 108 by 7 okay then 2 into just put down the value of length instead of l so 30 by 7 plus b that equal to 108 by 7 so here 30 by 7 plus b and as here if you move 2 from left to right so it will be 108 by 7 into half okay that means divided by 2 so here that equal to 54 by 7 then b equal to 54 by 7 and this one 30 minus so minus 30 by 7 okay from left to right here plus so that will be minus so 54 by 7 minus 30 by 7 that equal to 24 by 7 so breadth equal to 3 whole 3 by 7 that is the final answer sum number 7 rahul had a rope of 325 hole 4 by 5 meter long he cut off 153 by 5 meter long piece then he divided the rest of the rope into three parts of equal length so that is the total length and he cut off first this one uh, 153 by 5 meter long piece so first you have to find out the remaining part okay so here length of the rope here the length of the rope equal to 3 to 5 whole 4 by 5 meter okay that equal to 1629 by 5 meter he cut off 150 hole 3 by 5 meter okay and that equal to 753 by 5 meter then the rest of the part equal to uh, you have to subtract this one from the total length so you will get 180 sorry 876 by 5 meter okay and last here last the rest of the rope into three parts of equal length he divided the rest of the rope into three parts so that means here length of each part equal to 876 by 5 into 1 by 3 or divided by 3 okay you can write down into 1 by 3 or divided by 3 so you will get 292 by 5 and that equal to 58 whole 2 by 3 meter that is the final answer sum number 8 if three whole half liter of petrol cost 270 whole 3 by 8 then find the cost of 4 liter of petrol okay so here three whole half liter that means 7 by 2 liter of petrol cost rupees 2163 by 8 okay then one liter of petrol cost 2163 by 8 into 2 by 7 okay and then four liter of petrol cost 2163 by 8 into 2 by 7 into 4 okay then 7 divided by 2163 that equal to 309 4 divided by 8 it's 2 then 2 2 cancel out so the final answer is 309 sum number 9 Ramesh earns 40,000 per month he spends 3 by 8 of the income of food and 1 by 5th of the remaining on LIC premium and then half of the remaining on the other expenses okay so that means first 40,000 is the total income then first you have to find out the income of food and that means 3 by 8 so 40,000 into 3 by 8 then you have to find out the remaining portion and again multiply 1 by 5th with the remaining portion to find out LIC premium amount okay and after that again you have to find out the last remaining portion and then you have to multiply with half to get the other expenses then find how much money is left with him okay so here 
earning of Ramesh that equal to 40,000 per month. Then spends for food that is 3 8 part of the total income. So 40,000 into 3 by 8 that equal to 15,000. Then the remaining income will be 40,000 minus this one you will get 25,000. Then spends for LIC that equal to 25,000 into 1 by 5th. So 1 by 5th of the 25,000 that equal to 5,000. Then again you have to find out the remaining amount. So 25,000 minus 5,000 that equal to 20,000. Then the other expenses is half of this one. So 20,000 into half that equal to 10,000. So the final remaining amount that equal to 20,000 minus 10,000 that equal to 10,000. Sum number 10. Okay. So this is the last one for this video. So if you like my video, please, please share this video with your friends and with your relatives. Okay. And uh, if you want to get more videos, please subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon. So here, sum number 10. A, B, C, D and E. Okay. Went to a restaurant for dinner. A paid half of the bill. B paid 1 by 5th of the bill and the rest of the bill was shared equally by C, D, E. Okay. So that means first you have to take the total bill. That means total part of the bill is 1. Okay. As A paid half and B paid 1 by 5th. So first you have to add these two part of the bill. Okay. And then you have to subtract the addition from 1 to get the rest of the bill. What fraction of the bill was paid by each? Okay. So here, let total part of the bill equal to 1. A pays the bill half part, B pays the bill 1 by fifth part. So the remaining part equal to 1 minus half plus 1 by fifth that equal to 1 minus 7 by 10 and that equal to 3 by 10. Okay. And this 3 by 10 was equally shared by each person. That means C, D and E. So you have to divide this part by 3 and you will get 1 by 10 part. So 1 by 10 part is the final answer.